question. Is there any form of correlation between Ethereum price and the growth of DeFi? Since most of them are using Ethereum blockchain? Uh, good question. Good question. I mean, so I have not personally looked and compared to see if there's a correlation. But we can look up if we go to defipulse.com. Let me just close some of these windows here. So defipulse.com. This is a good site to track what's happening in DeFi. So if we switch this to the last 90 days, okay, it's already there. So DeFi rose from 650 million or so, and it peaked at 1.2 billion. And now it's at 870 million. So, and, and then, so when it comes to dominance, most, the most dominant product or cryptocurrency is Maker. So that's the Maker token, which is one we are pretty bullish on. Okay, but anyway, back to your question. So it's lo DeFi has lost about 300 million or so. Now, if we go and compare with Ethereum, So I think, yeah, let's look at the, the technical analysis here. Okay, so actually here, we only have up to February. Okay, um, I have to talk to my team. This should be going back up to one year. But anyway, okay, so if, I mean, I think, it's kind of been going hand in hand because Ethereum peaked at around 280 and now it's back down to 209. And this, and this happened in, less, in the last two months. So if we do 30 days, yeah, I mean, so it is kind of going hand in hand, right? So yeah, the peak here was 1.2 billion on February 14th. And if we go to Ethereum, February 14th, the high was 284. So textbook, I mean, right? So it is going hand in hand, which does make sense. I mean, thinking about it logically. And then this is the lowest the DeFi, uh, DeFi has been in the last 30 days at 877 million. And this is also the lowest Ethereum has been in the last 30 days. So, yeah, to answer your question, Ethereum and DeFi are basically correlated, which obviously makes sense because you need Ethereum to do DeFi. And I think it's, it's really kind of something to keep in mind, right? Because as DeFi grows and gets bigger and bigger, we can then expect Ethereum to get bigger and bigger, obviously. And I think that's that's really one of the main reasons why I'm very bullish on Ethereum possibly and probably surpassing Bitcoin in market cap in the year 2030. So in the next 10 years, I think Ethereum is going to go on a run. Because as DeFi gets bigger and bigger, the developer community is, is going to gravitate to Ethereum over Bitcoin. I mean, we, we, we even have uh, wrapped Bitcoin on DeFi. I mean, so... Do you really need Bitcoin for DeFi? Not really at the moment. So I, I, I think it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.